problem is we've lost to go for free. Because no footage of the cars driving. No, of at least three of the cars driving. Because we lost footage for the GoPros. And so I'm a quite short video, so yeah. God damn it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. You're alrighty everyone, so if you wonder where all my videos are going, delete them all, start from scratch, you know. Not start from scratch, but like a fresh page, yeah. Like a fresh, fresh start. So, we've got some more asses to deal with today, and it's pretty pretty cool to do this, because doing a lot of fast car stuff, like, I'm not my way of a 4B, but uh, today we're wielding with us some Toyota Supras. Red, I didn't paint this one. Got us some Supras and some GTRs, and we're also watching some Australian four wheel drive action. Great show, gotta go watch it. So, anyway, here is the internals for this Super, which we're gonna be taking outside and doing time events after. And this is it. Now, it's funny because when you look at my Land Rover, it starts and runs completely different. That was odd. Right, yeah. So this is on this problem with this though. It is it's a stick one. But you look, it's like it's funny because that is how it moves you look. We go forward. That's moving. And that's what makes a car move, which I've never seen before, but I think it's pretty cool so anyway. I'll get this all sorted. We'll get outside, we'll get the body on. Get aside, we'll get the Super. No, no, this is, it. This is the Super. We'll get the GTR. We've got some time trials, see which one's better. So, see what an expensive hobby grade vehicle will get you. This isn't mine, it's my granddad's, it's all this. I'll have to ask him how old it is. I might have to get him to drive for me. But, you know. Um, but an expensive hobby grade like this, right, compared to a cheap 30 quid toy grade one which toy grade one i'm gonna say it's pretty cool like it can drift it has drift tires and i do have some normal wheels i've got for it but i forgot to bring them so that's probably not an un it's an unfair rate but yeah whatever so catch you once we get this thing sorted so what we've got is we've got two cars no drift cars we have a probably very expensive what all Toyota Supra, very cool, got GoPro on that, that's called first, duct tape GoPro master, and I've got a modern 30 quid toy grey Nissan GTR R6, but I think we should be painted white, Fast and Furious one, you know, it's got drift tires on though, it should do just as good, because that's got boost, but anyway, we've got the GoPros on, because I can't film time and drive at the same time, so, let's get them to the track. So, after a careful race, and a careful, well, time trial race, we figured out that the 30 quid toy grade budget drift car with drift wheels can win with 10.65 seconds, and that a hobby grade um, race car can lose with 17.3 seconds. We have figured out that there's one car left to race, and that's Pumba. So, we'll go get Pumba set up, and we've taken Pumba for the race. The final, final verdict of the whole thing, don't bring a rock crawler to a, a, a race car fight. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, we've got lots of GoPro footage by the way, hopefully it's not too long. Yeah, but anyway, if you enjoyed the video, um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff and things and things and stuff. And go follow me on Instagram at JossMartinOkay, because yeah, that would mean a lot to me, because I'm a peasant. So... Join us back tomorrow for more RC adventures and fun and things and stuff and stuff and things.